If you're having issues with Dolby Atmos because your app crashes, your headphones don't pick up any sound or the sound is distorted, this could be happening because your Dolby Access app is broken or because your sound drivers are either damaged or corrupt. So, in this tutorial you will learn how to repair your Dolby Access app and your sound drivers, so you can use Dolby Atmos again. First open the Start menu. Open your settings. Open apps. Open the apps and features section. Locate Dolby Access. Click on the little dots to open the Dolby Access app options. Click on Advanced Options. Look for the Reset section. If Dolby Access isn't working right, you can try to repair it. The Dolby Access data won't be affected. Now press Repair. If Dolby Access is still not working right, reset it. Now press the Reset button. This will permanently delete Dolby Access data on this device, including preferences and sign in details. Press Reset again. If Dolby Access is still not working, you could try to reinstall it. First press Uninstall. Dolby Access and its related data will be uninstalled. Press Uninstall again. Now open your Microsoft Store to download Dolby Access again. Search for Dolby Access. Click on Dolby Access app. Press the Get button to start downloading Dolby Access. Wait for Dolby Access to be downloaded and installed. Now your Dolby Access app should be installed. Now open your Dolby Access app. Now type in your login info. In the next solution, we'll reinstall the sound drivers to replace the corrupt ones. Open Start and type Device Manager. Open your Device Manager. Expand Sound, Video and Game Controllers. Right-click your audio device. Click on Properties. Open the Driver tab. Select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select High Definition Audio Device. Press Next. Press Yes.
Now close the window and restart. Press yes. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.